Hey, what's up? The Last Bear here, and today I'm gonna show you Rexing V1P Max 4K Duo Dash Cam, which is the newest dash cam that you can buy from Rexing today. Uh, Rexing is not a new company, they have been on the market for a very long time and actually make a very good products for affordable price. And also, they have a very good review, so you can check them on Amazon for yourself. I personally have three of their dash cameras for my cars, and I have been using them for more than two years without any complaints at all. Also, I'll make a quick comparison video between this one and the one that I have on my daily driver, which is Rexing V1P. That is the previous model and shoots video in full HD, just to help you guys to see the difference between them. You can pick this one from Amazon or Rexing website. I'll put the link in the description box. The price for this one is $259. As I said, it's a duo dash cam, one for your windshield and one for your rear window or rear windshield, whatever you call it. It can shoot 4K 3840 by 2160 video with 25 frames per second for the front camera and Full HD 1920 by 1080, 25 frames per second for the rear one. Both of the cameras have 170 degree wide angle lens and a bunch of features that I'm gonna talk about in a minute. First of all, let's unbox this and show you what it comes with. Okay, the first one, that's gonna be your quick start and safety guide. And here is your camera unit, which I'll talk about in a little bit later. This is your rear camera. It comes with 20 feet long cable, because just keep in mind you have to run this one from your rear window all the way to the front uh, windshield and connect it to the main camera. Next one is gonna be your mini USB cigarette light charger. This one is 12 feet long and I think, I think it's long enough to go from your main camera to your power outlet. You have one more USB-A to mini USB cable. In some cases you can just uh, use this to connect your camera to the computer and update the software. You have mounting clips, windshield mounts with double-sided tape. You have two of them, but pay attention that this camera doesn't use a suction mount, so uh, make sure to pick the right place on your windshield, because once you install this, that's where you're gonna leave it. And the last one is your plastic pry tool. This one will help you to hide the cables underneath your car headliner. Now let's take a look at the dash camera. It comes with 2.4 inch LCD display and it has five buttons on the front. You have OK and emergency lock button, record button, mic, and the last one is the menu button. And this one right here is on and off button. On the side you have GPS logger port and also mini USB port for your back camera. On the other side you have a micro SD card slot, reset button and mini USB charging port. Here is where you're gonna attach your windshield mount and this is your camera lens. I like the fact that you always can adjust the viewing angle left, right, up and down. Now let's see some of the features that this one has. As I mentioned before, it comes with 2.4 inch LCD TFT display, 170 degree wide angle lens for both front and rear cameras. You got built in GPS, super night vision, 24 hour parking monitor, record 4K 3840 by 1920 video for the front camera and 1920 by 1080 Full HD for the rear one. It has super capacitor instead of battery, and it can survive and it's more durable on hot or cold temperatures and also Rexing claims that the working temperature for this one is from minus 20 up to 170 degrees which is impressive. Also it comes with built-in Wi-Fi, collision sensing and loop recording. Now let me show you how this one compares to my old one which is Rexing V1P third generation. Basically they are the same size and look exactly the same except the new one can shoot in 4K video and it has built-in GPS versus the old one can shoot Full HD and doesn't have built-in GPS. They have the same ports on both sides and as I said I have been using the old one for more than two years in my daily driver with no problems at all. I, I just decided to get the new one because of the 4K video. Let's take a look at the back camera. This one does rotate. You can even rotate the lens all the way back to shoot video inside your car. 
you have 20 feet long cable permanently attached to the unit also this one doesn't come with detachable mount so just make sure to install this on the right place of your rear window on the other side you have LED bar indicating that your unit is working and here is a quick comparison between this one and my old one they almost look the same with a couple of differences here and there both have switches to flip the image if you decide to rotate the lens and shoot video inside your car they have the same 170 degree wide view angle and as you can see on the old one the mini USB port is located on the left side now let's take a look at the main camera and see all of the features that it has as you can see the boot up speed is pretty fast basically it's gonna take a couple of seconds to start recording after you fire up your engine if you press OK button once that's gonna lock your current footage and save it in a secure folder also this file is not gonna be overwritten with the next button you can stop and start recording if you press and hold the mic button that will turn on and off your microphone from this one you can turn on and off your screen press it and hold it it's gonna turn off the camera unit let's go to the menus real quick first option is the resolution you can choose between 4k for the front camera and full hd for the rear or 2k for the front and full hd for the rear next one is video encode you can choose between h264 and h265 here is your loop recording and you have between one two and three minutes I always keep mine on three the next one is recording type you have normal and time lapse with the next two you can flip or mirror the image on the front camera this is distortion correction keep this one on we have anti flicker mode you can switch between non 50 and 60 Hertz here you can turn the audio on and off next one is an on-screen display which is basically to show or hide the information on your camera display such as speed dead and time and more from this one you can activate your parking mode but you're gonna need a Rexing hardware kit which you have to buy separately and basically that's it for the media settings press the menu button one more time and that will gonna take you to the system settings first one is screensaver you can choose between one two and three minutes next is the G sensor sensitivity you have several options here off low medium and high so this one is basically when the, ca uh, the camera detects any shaking let's say if you got hit on any car accident or just hardly press the brake this will lock the current video footage in a secure folder here is the key down volume you have low and high and from the next one you can turn the key beeping on and off here you can see the difference You can also turn on and off your boot sound on the next couple of options you can set your time your time zone daylight saving time on and off here is your speed unit you can switch between miles and kilometers you got time formats gps info oops my bad where were we okay here you have a different language format your sd card reset the default settings and turn on and off your wireless connection let me show you how the wireless connection works first of all you have to download the Rexing app on your phone you can activate the wireless connection by press and hold the ok button on the camera or you can just do it from the menu once you do that open your app and press connect here is your password then you have to go to the wireless settings on your phone and choose your camera put your password and press connect then go back and open your Rexing app again press connect and that's it you're ready to go as you can see here is what the front camera records in real time you can change the view you can switch the view between the rear and front camera you can also start and stop recording and switch to photo mode on the bottom you have three tabs videos photos and settings before to go to any of those you have to just stop recording here is a list of all recorded files and also locked videos first file is from your front camera the second one just beneath it is from your rear one you can watch them skip back and forth and also edit all of your videos directly from your phone 
if you press and hold file you can delete it or just download it to your phone and you can also choose more than one file at the same time here is one more thing i want to show you on the screen now we have the front camera and the rear one on the upper left corner you can switch the view by pressing the mic button so here is the view from the back end front camera press again that's only for the front camera and here is only for the rear one I always use for my uh, dash camera SanDisk Extreme SD cards, 128 gigs. I've never had any problems with them. Rexin also claims that you can use up to 256 gigabytes. If you leave your camera settings on 4K, you will be able to record about eight hours using both front and rear cameras. And if you set it to 2K video resolution, you will be able to record about 14 hours. Overall, Rexing V1P Duo Dash Cam as I said, the newest 4K dash cam that you can buy from Rexing. I am, I am very happy with the video and image quality during the day and night. Also provides a lot of different options that you can choose from. You got built-in GPS, wireless connection to watch, download or edit your videos directly from your phone. It's a heat and cold resistant and for the price of 259 I think it's worth every penny. In these days guys, having a dash cam, I think it's something that everyone should consider for his vehicle. I drive for a living and I just cannot live without my dash camera. No one knows what can happen on the road and sometimes having a dash cam just can save your life. And that's pretty much it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Now let's go outside and I show you how the dash camera looks on your windshield. And also I'll show you a footage from the front rear camera and quick comparison between this one and my old one camera so here is how the camera is gonna look once it's attached to your windshield I'm not sure can you see it actually and don't forget to clean up your uh, front windshield and also wipe down the lenses if you accidentally touch them just to make sure that they're free from fingerprints